We're in front of a demonstration plot here illustrating tank contamination with Enlist and Dicamba herbicides. What you see here is a block that has been planted to a non-Enlist, non-Extend variety. We spray different solutions here. Now what you'll notice as you look through the plot is that the soybeans that have the E3 trait are inherently more tolerant to 2,4-D, upwards of 23 times more tolerant to 2,4-D than they are to the dicamba product. Uh, there are a number of symptoms that you can see in here. Typically what we see with dicamba damage is leaf cupping. When we see 2,4-D damage, we'll often see leaf strapping. And if you look closely, you'll see both. What we've done here is sprayed the center two rows of uh, each variety or each application to be able to see that symptomology. Now it is important to note that all the leaf cupping and all leaf strapping that you see is not necessarily caused by 2,4-D or by dicamba. There are a number of other herbicides that can mimic those symptomology. You'll see that in a number of fields across the Midwest this year. One thing to remember is that it's important to understand that while these beans are 23 more 23 times more tolerant to 2,4-D than they are dicamba, that it's important to you as a grower because inevitably it shows the crop safety of the enlist system, but it also, whenever those misapplications do happen across the countryside, it does allow us to be better stewards of the land and the resources that we have, but it also helps that tolerance with managing those situations where maybe our off-target drift goes to neighbors or to other places that aren't necessarily intended for crop use.